Hey guys, this is Agent Mindstorm, and today we're doing a map review. I'm going to be reviewing Seasons in the City. I did a Let's Play through this Marketplace map. It is 990 mine coins. It is made by 4J Studios, and functionally, it is sort of like their old music disc. You explore a world four times, each in a different season. There are different challenges, and different things change each time. Unfortunately, since my time with this map has ended, my opinion on it has only really soured. Let's go over the really good stuff first, though. For starters, this is a beautiful map. Every single building has unique design and is fully furnished on the inside. That is an incredible feat, and the fact that 4J Studio could honestly make a fully realized city, something that even new big open world games don't really do, where most of the buildings just don't exist, that is really impressive. That is a huge plus of this map. If you want a fully realized city to build like a Hunger Games or something in, this is the map for you, man. You will never... It is just incredible. Another plus is that the texture pack used in this map is very good. A lot of the textures, such as the wood, are actually from the city texture pack, but, you know, the rest of this stuff does look great. It honestly really improves the way the world looks, especially with some of the extra behavior pack stuff that they add, such as cars, birds, let me, I can't even think of all, I think there's sharks, or we can check. There's a lot of stuff. Actually, since I'm in creative, we can just look at the inventory here and see if there's anything interesting. Like, you got the muscle car, quad bike, and look at all these different trucks they added. And they've added butterfly, alligator. We never even saw any alligators. A crab, Easter egg, moped, pelican. As you can see, a lot of work has gone into this map's resources. It's... I don't know why the sedan doesn't have keys. Uh, it's functions, all of its different mobs and things to really flesh this out and make it feel like a city. And that's great. Ooh, here's a side note about something that I forgot to mention. The texture pack in this world is beautiful, but you can't use it in any other worlds. I would love to be able to use the Seasons in the City texture pack in my own worlds, and you can't. This should have been released as a mashup pack, maybe just make some token skins or something, because the texture for this not being available on anywhere other than this map is, quite frankly, ridiculous. And honestly, if you could do that, it wouldn't improve my rating of the map at all, but it would be very nice to have, and it's surprising to me that this launched without the ability to use the texture pack in other worlds. However, as a survival map, there are a few main problems with this. Number one, surviving in the map is frustratingly difficult because the only way that you can get food in this map, pretty much, is from these vending machines. Now, the vending machines are super common. That's not the problem. The problem is, let's see if we can actually find a vending machine here. They're usually in the lobby of buildings. And, oh, I know there's one in our yacht, so we can look down here. Now, the problem with this map as a survival map, food-wise, is... Okay, this is something I want to talk about later. When you go to get food from a vending machine, it is incredibly slow. And, like, where even is the vending machine? I swear there was a vending machine on the yacht. Whatever, when you go to use the vending machine, you can click it once, maybe once every few seconds, or once a second, and it's too slow. You cannot get food, a sufficient amount of food, in the amount of time, and all the food that you get is very low saturation. So you have to get a lot of food, and it goes down real fast. It is not fun, and it really detracts from the survival experience. What I ended up doing to make the map more fun to play was just giving my- here it is. As you can see, click, I'm holding down LT, and actually you can't hold down LT, but if I'm spamming it here, one, two, one, two, so it seems like about once a second you can click. However, both of these items, the burger and the ice cream, are low saturation and low food bar, which means that you have to eat a lot of it and eat it too frequently to really be fun in survival. The other thing is, it is just difficult to navigate the city. When you're in a building, you can't break out so you have to walk all the way back down the super long staircase, or you have to jump off the top and die. That is not fun. There's no elytra provided, there is no fall damage removed, 
what I ended up doing was just turning off the fall damage game rule. That made it a, ten times more fun. And then the last thing about this map that I would say is it gets boring. It is fun to explore the city. It is very fun to look around and see all this stuff. Like, even now, in creative mode, I'm seeing all these things I've never seen before. Like, this construction site, they really got a lot of detail here. This building right here, not sure what it is, but it looks cool, doesn't it? And that's the probably the best thing about this map. It has a lot of replayability, but it's boring in the first place. When you're in survival, and you're wandering around these streets at foot height, it is not fun. It is cool when you see something, but then it's like, ugh, I'm tired of seeing buildings, and that's all the map is. It's a lot of buildings, and it's not full of stimulus. But let's get to the biggest issue with this map. Instead of being playable in survival, you can actually see a lot of it in this video right now just as I'm flying around. This map is terribly optimized. I'm not sure whether to blame Bedrock Edition or to blame 4J Studios, but whoever's fault it is, this map is unacceptably laggy. For starters, chunks fail to load like this all the time. It is difficult to navigate the city because whenever you're moving around, you have to stop for minutes at a time to wait for chunks to load in. And that is not fun, and it slows down the experience and adds to that boredom that I was talking about. The biggest, most frustrating issue, even more than this performance though, is that the map sometimes bugs out completely and soft locks. I had this happen during my series. Basically, I went into a challenge, I completed the challenge, it never gave me the trophy, which meant that the challenge was technically still running. I couldn't start a new challenge because when you cannot start multiple challenges at a time, and it still thought a previous challenge was running. I don't know how this happens, but the fact that it can happen is unacceptable. This map broke on me, softlocked my progress, and meant that I had to start from scratch in creative mode. Functionally, the way I fixed it was I just went to creative, I had to redo all the challenges super speed, and then I got back to where I was. But that's not fun. That is terrible. And that is probably the biggest issue with this map, the fact that it is straight up broken. So, this might seem like a super negative review of this map, but honestly, it's not. I've talked about the negative things, and it is more of a disappointed review, I'd say. I am disappointed in the way this map turned out. It is not an epic adventure, and instead just a journey in a city that looks nice. If that's all you want, then this is a perfect map for you. It is an incredible build, and you can get loads of inspiration. There's different types of buildings, like these houses are inspiration city. Look at this, you got the diagonal roofs and the windows that stick out and the balconies and the forests are beautiful, but the map is not fun. And that is what I value in a map from the marketplace. It's broken and it's not fun to play without giving yourself extra items in creative mode and changing game rules. So with this end review, if I were to give this map a score, it would be five out of 10. It does a lot of good stuff. It is. If it worked, and it had no performance issues, and perhaps they sorted out the food issue or just removed food entirely, this could be incredible. This would have been nearly perfect, but the state that this map was released in and never updated or to be fixed is disappointing, and that's why I'm giving this map a 5 out of 10. Anyways guys, that is the end of this video, and this is the last time I'm going to talk about Seasons of the City and Bedrock performance issues and all that stuff, I swear. I really do this time, hopefully. But for now, I do want to tell you all, thanks for watching, and I will see you later.